Well, I thought our kids played uh, exceptionally hard um, last Friday night. I thought our crowd was great. Our, our students were, were uh, definitely a lot of energy in the stadium. Um, I thought our kids were prepared and ready to play, um, you know, and, and uh, really had an opportunity uh, right before half to go in at halftime, at least with a score tied uh, or with a lead. Um, and... Um, you know, we we were very very pleased with where we were at that point. Uh, we were we were efficient on third down in the first half, and I think that's what kept the game uh, kept it kept it going. Uh, we we were able to keep our defense off the field uh, in the second the second qu- quarter. Um, I think we held Baylor to six plays and one yard of offense, and uh, and a lot of that had to do with the fact that we were able to control the ball with some sustain some drives and and uh, and get away with some points. But, um, you know, I thought we gave up uh, just too many uncontested plays defensively. I was disappointed in that. Uh, offensively, we were very poor in the second half on third down. Uh, and those are areas that we've got to get, get better at. Um, but, uh, you know, again, I, I thought our guys came out ready to go. And, um, you know, we've got a very tough one this week. Um, you know, this is a game that, uh, um, you know, we, we've – that North Texas definitely. Uh, I think I think the score was 45 to seven last year. They beat SMU, and and so this is a game that our guys are, are looking forward to. Excited to get back out on the field on Tuesday, and uh, as we were last night, and um, and so uh, uh, again, you know, it'll be interesting to see how our guys come out this week and play as we continue to build this. Take questions for Coach Morris, please. Star one on your telephone to join the queue. The operator will introduce you. We'll take our next question from Shannon Green with Orlando Sentinel. Good morning, Coach. How are you doing today? Good morning. Obviously, um, you started off with probably the toughest test out of all the uh, conference teams uh, last week. What were some of the most important things that you learned about your team in that very difficult test to face? Well, I think the biggest thing that we learned is is that our guys um, – were prepared. Our guys were uh, were ready to play, um, and they played with great passion and energy. Um, you know, obviously we were we we gave up some uncontested plays early in the game. It was just too easy, um, and they didn't have to work hard for them. And and so, but uh, the the thing that was very impressed me was our guys never quit. Uh, they battled all the way through, um, even even trailing 28-14. You know, for us to battle back and and really to have the ball on the two yard line uh, going into halftime and and should have had this score tied. Uh, so you know, our guys just had that don't quit attitude, and so that was very encouraging. Um, it gave us a starting point, as I said a week ago. This was going to give us a gauge of where we are and where we want to be, and um, and obviously we we've got that gauge right now, and and uh, and we've got to build off of it. What kind of dividends do you think can pay off for you long term uh, when you have that kind of a, a, a top test so early on? Well, you know, I'm not so much into moral victories and, and uh, or nothing like that, but I think our guys believe in what we're doing. I think our guys uh, um, really have a lot of confidence right now. Um, and knowing that, that uh, because you know, with with five minutes to go in the third quarter, it's a 28-21 ball game, and so you know we're we're right there in it. And, and you know, we kept thinking if we can just get it to the fourth quarter, we got a chance, and we go to the fourth, 35-21, still have an opportunity to to get it to, to get it back right. And you know, we just had we were unable to convert some third and shorts, which stalled some drives out. So again, our guys were able to see how close we are. Um, and just the just the effort that those guys played with is what we got to continue to have. Okay, thanks, Coach. Uh-huh. Go next to Brett Vito with the Denton Record Chronicle. Hey, Coach, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, not too bad. Just a couple quick questions. Van Malone's on your staff this year, of course, he's a defensive coordinator, which is a little bit interesting because he was North Texas a cornerback coach for a number of years there back and under Dale Dickey in the early 2000s. Can you talk a little bit about his contributions to your program in the short time that he's been there? 
Well, I, can, can you repeat that again? It, it's it's really I'm getting a bad reception. It's kind of muffled up. You you talk about are you talking about Andrew Smith? No, I'm talking about Van Malone. Oh, Van Malone. Yeah, I'm sorry. I might have got a bad connection. Yeah, but you know, he was at North Texas for some time in the mid, you know, 2000s under Daryl Dickey. Can you talk a little bit about his contribution since he's arrived at your program? Yeah, well, obviously Van is a, is a, uh, a Texas guy that uh, from the Houston area, and, and uh, as uh, we've worked together when we were at Tulsa, uh, Van is a guy that's very passionate, got a great family. Um, he uh, he loves his job, and, and uh, the kids really respond to him and play for him, um, and, and just excited for what he brings, an unbelievable recruiter. Um, and so, uh, again, just excited for, for Van and, um, but, um, you know, again, I know he, he was he was excited to, to get on the field last week and excited to make the adjustments and, and improvements that need to be made this week from the Baylor game. Last year was a bit of a blowout for North Texas, 43-6. to six. Do a lot of your players remember that, and does that serve as a motivation for some of your guys? Well, I, you know, I'm sure they remember it. Um, matter of fact, you know, they've talked about it, that it was just uh, – I mean, it was just kind of hard to watch. And, uh, you know, and the guys just have, have, have brought it up to me. Um, and But, you know, again, last year was last year. This is a whole new team. They've got a new defensive coordinator. So it's, it is uh, – I mean, we, we, you, can't base, you can't base just on last year alone. I mean, these guys know that they got embarrassed. Um, but uh, it's just going to be how they respond off of off this past week. I mean, you know, it was uh, – um, you know, we we can't we can't dwell in the moment on Baylor. We got to move forward. I mean, we got a, a North Texas team coming in here that's uh, uh, excited about their their opening game of the season, um, and um, they'll be ready to play. Thanks, Coach. <clears throat> and do we have any other questions for Coach Morris, please? Star one on your telephone, if so. And Coach, we'll thank you for your time this week. Thank Look you. Forward to talking to you again next Monday. Uh, bye bye. All right, that is Coach Chad Morris from SMU. Again, the uh, Mustangs face North Texas uh, Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN3.